All right, everybody, welcome to Unscripted One-on-One -on -one from my basement studio here in Hilliard, Ohio. Uh, really special week this week. I'm going to uh, just kind of have one of those moments. Um, this is a season of giving, and I think we're all kind of at that place where we're frustrated and weary. I heard the, the lyric this morning, weary world rejoices, and um, I think we're a weary world right now. And uh, one of the ways that we can, I think, help ourselves maybe get past our, our frustration, our weariness is to give. Uh, there's no, no greater feeling than when you give to a cause that, that's special. So um, really, this is a big moment for me because, and, and for you as well, Pat, you are the first returning unscripted <laughs> podcast guest that I've ever had. So welcome back. You know the drill. Uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you, and then we'll go, go from there. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me back. I hope that means that our first podcast was an awesome one. I'm returning that way, not as a do-over. So <laughs> I appreciate you being here. But I'm Pat Poole with Families for a Cure. Uh, Families for a Cure is a central Ohio-based um, nonprofit focused on helping cancer patients, their caregivers, and uh, doctors and researchers that are helping trying to find a cure. Uh, our organization supports all types of cancers, and we extend beyond the borders of central Ohio with the work that we do. And you guys are awesome. And that's why I wanted to have you back on because I, I had, a, again, just another random thought. And the beauty of uh, running your own podcast is you can kind of do whatever you want. So over the weekend, I had an idea of um, I want to have two, two posts this week, um, both of them called the season of giving. And um, this is just an opportunity for people once again to, to hear about your cause, hear about all you guys are doing, because I know you're doing a lot this week, I do believe. And, that, and that's why I wanted to get this out quickly. Um, so this is a this is probably gonna be a very short podcast, but one that um, we get all the details out because I believe that everybody's kind of in that season of again season of giving, season of an opportunity to um, do something beyond ourselves. So tell us all the ways. Well, first of all, tell us just the elevator speech. What is Families for a Cure? What do you guys do? And then uh, we'll we'll go from there. So what, let's start there. Elevator speech. What what it is Families for a Cure, and what you know what do you guys do? Families for a Cure is a volunteer-run uh, organization supporting cancer patients uh, and their caregivers. We partner with local, or we partner with nonprofits that are focused in on supporting cancer patients, and we give designated grants to them throughout the year to support lots of programs that are happening, whether it be paying for uh, house cleaning for cancer patients, to providing overnight stays in partnership with other organizations, or just providing experiences um, to cancer patients or their caregivers there. We also focus in on providing money to provide ongoing research here locally at the, the James uh, through St. Jude and then Children's Hospital. And I think and we, from our first podcast, the the because I'm not very bright as everybody knows from my podcast, the easy way to explain it is you guys are almost like the old switchboard, right? You you the the donations come in and then you you kind of dictate where those should go as needed, right? Isn't that yeah. is that is that pretty that, that is correct. <laughs> and we also have, yeah. That is primarily what we do, and we also have a couple programs that we run ourselves uh, through our organization. But because we're volunteer run, uh, we find that we're best. Our best gift can be through partnership through other organizations who have full time staff and have direct relationships with with cancer patients. And you guys are the best of us, and that's why I wanted to have you on again. So, um, a little announcement from the unscripted side: I hope to actually have a store up this evening um, before the the night is over. Now, who knows when somebody's going to hear this podcast? So, hopefully, by the time you hear it, uh, I believe the store is going to run two weeks, and you're the first to hear this. Uh, actually, besides my wife, um, I, I can't even make the announcement yet of who the partnership is with, but I do have a partnership. I will have a store. Um, all the proceeds from my sales over the next two weeks are going to go to you and to another um, a, a guest that I'm going to have on later this week, because I believe in what you all are doing. It could be two bucks. It could be, I don't, I have no idea. I'm going to leave that up to anybody listening to this and uh, that, that sees the social media, but I just wanted you to know that for every uh, dollar that I get, I'm going to turn around and give that right back to you guys over the next two weeks. That is awesome. Thank you. I got chills when you're doing um, that's so cool. Thank you for thinking of us. We appreciate that. Whether it's two bucks or nothing, we that's an awesome sentiment. So thank you very much for thinking of us. Appreciate that. Well, I, I like I said, I believe in what you guys do. I believe in um in in you know everything that you're doing and, and I know you personally and I know you know what you're about. And and I guess I want people to hear this podcast that see this podcast, however, whatever media you're watching it or listening to it on. To, uh, to believe in what you all do, because I believe in, in you, you know, very much as a person. And um, 
that's why I wanted to have you on very quickly. There's a mil- there's a lot of places we can give our dollars today, you know, but um, you know, families for a cure is one that I truly believe in. And that's why I wanted to have you on quickly. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. It really does. Absolutely. So what do you have coming up that, uh, what are ways people can give? I got five opportunities for you. So in the month of December, we are doing a toy drive from now until uh, December 12th. We will actually have a on-site toy collection on Saturday, December the 5th at 10 Penn Alley from starting at 9.30 a.m. and ending at 11 a.m. And you're welcome to come and deliver a unwrapped gift that we will then take and put into uh, the community to cancer patients and their families who are in need this holiday season. If you are not able to attend the physical toy drive on the 12th, please reach out and contact us through either our Facebook page or our website and the contact form. Just say, hey, I'd like to give and we can connect uh, and figure out how to do either a drop off or you can order something through Amazon, have it shipped to to our our location directly. and We'll make that happen on on your behalf. Um, Or you can also make a cash donation online. We'll We'll gladly purchase some gifts on your behalf for for the folks that we want to support this holiday season. So again, that toy drive is happening on the 5th, uh, 9.30 to 11 at 10 Penn Alley. The second opportunity we have is we are partnering again with the Rotary Club to do an online auction. Every year they usually have a big unperson event for um, the Ohio State Mission game called the Great Debate. We had to postpone it this year, but we still want to do an online auction. So we are partnering with them. That auction will happen uh, starting on December the 9th at 8 a.m and it will run through December the 11th and will close at 5 p.m. More details can be found on our website once we make it go live. We'll provide a link out there. You can go out and view all the items, but we have a great lineup. We've got some awesome donations this year, and it runs a gamut from sports memorabilia to auto services to some great landscape packages. There's some special adult packages in there for some libations over the holidays if you want to do that, and many other things that you want. So um, please check it out there, scroll through it there, and, and, and help support us if that's something that's of value to you. The third one is, is we can always take donations, right? So if you, neither of those want to do that, you just want to make a cash donation or donate an auction, an item that we can use in a future auction or raffle, we can accept that. Cash donations can be made to familiesforacure.org. Um, or if you, again, you want to donate an item or something for future use there, please use a contact form. Hit us a note, DM us on Facebook, and we'll connect you to figure out how to make that uh, transaction happen on your behalf. Um, the other two are introductions. The first one is I'm saying give the gift of an introduction. What does that mean? Throughout the year, we're looking for partners, businesses, individuals who want to get involved with organizations like ours. Make an introduction and we'll do the rest. All you need to do is say, hey, Families for a Cure is helping cancer patients. I know that's something important to whomever, the business individual, and then connect them with me or or someone on the team. We'll make that happen there. The other one is, is, as I mentioned before, we partner with charity organizations in Central Ohio and throughout. So one of the things that we do every year is we go through a grant process where we interview organizations and ask them uh, what they need and how can we support them through our designated grants. Make an introduction. Is there a charity that you like and you want to see connect with Families for a Cure so you can have two great organizations working together? Put us in contact with one another. We do our grant review process beginning in January and we will end our interviews in February. So it's the season of introductions and that would be a great way that uh, we we can connect with others. And so those are the five ways that I think would be great to help us during the season of giving. That's awesome. So I will, um, all of those things I will put in, in the post when I post this on my, my website as well. So if anybody missed that, or if you're driving down the road, just go to aaronconrad.com, click on this podcast and you'll see all those links in there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we've got a little bit of a time crunch, the fifth and the ninth. Did I get that right? The fifth is the in-person toy drive and the ninth starts a virtual auction, correct? So if you're hearing this before one of those dates, uh, if you're in Hilliard, the, the toy drive, especially you can drop off a 10 pin alley, awesome bowling place, by the way, shout out 10 pin alley, <laughs> but a great, 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 great Hilliard location, great, great Hilliard uh, establishment. So, um, so we got that on the fifth, then we got the ninth coming up. But there's always ways to give, and um, and so that it's and I'll again I'll put all those in the blog post uh, as well when we put this up, which will be up uh, probably this evening. So, um, anything else you want to share with everybody before we jump off? As I said before, when we last chat, there's a lot of great organizations out there that you can support, whether it's Families for a Cure or the other organizations for money. It's a great. There's a lot of organizations that are in need. Please help someone, whether you choose us or someone else. Uh, we'd appreciate that. Uh, but again, all the, the other thing I'll call out there is our website will have more information about the toy drive and the online auction as well as our Facebook page. So 
familiesforacure.org is the website. And on Facebook, you can find us at Families for a Cure. So and right, all Aaron, will be there. The other thing that, um, so announcement number two, uh, besides my store is for anyone that is listening to this, uh, if you haven't already, um, for everyone that subscribes between now and December 24th, uh, which is right, you know, Christmas Eve. Um, for anyone that subscribes or leaves a review on iTunes or YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, um, I'm going to make a donation to Families for a Cure. And I have a, uh, a, a, an episode two coming up later this week for another foundation that I believe in. Um, I'm going to make a donation. So two ways that I will personally be helping and supporting you all is one through my store, all revenue, you know, and all, any any revenue, whether it's two bucks or whatever it might be. I don't even know yet because the store is not up yet, but when it's up, um, that revenue will go to you. And then for anyone that subscribes to either YouTube channel, um, iTunes, wherever you get your podcast and, you know, and or leaves a review, um, I plan on making a donation to you all. And then the, the other um, uh, foundation that I'm going to support later this week. So uh, that's, that's my, my gift to you all. And uh, I hope that you can take that and I know you're going to do amazing things with it. So um, thank you for being on. I know we did this very short notice and I know we ran through this very quickly, but um, thank you so much for being on. And thank you for all you're doing. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That is an awesome gift. You, you made the end of November awesome. So I'm looking forward to December. Appreciate your, your including us in your podcast there and just the partnership over the time. You're awesome. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have better days ahead. <laughs> Thanks again. All right. Thanks for being on. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.